Hello, everybody, and welcome to your 2021 commencement ceremony. Wherever you are in the world, go on and make some noise. <laughs> oh, yeah, nicely done, nicely done. Well, I'm Christian Magby, a performing arts graduate from the class of 2016, and I am honored to be back at SCAD as your commencement host. Now, I can tell you from personal experience that the education you sweated for over the years has prepared you to achieve your wildest dreams. You know, much of my SCAD journey happened right here at Christ Hall, where my professors and mentors gifted me the lessons that I still carry to this day. You know, since graduating, I entered the Atlanta theater scene that I always wanted to call home. Last year, I was cast in the Academy Award-nominated film One Night in Miami and was directed by the genius Regina King. Yeah, that Regina King. And just a few months ago, I premiered as Dion Owens on the CW series The Flash. You know, five years from feeling on top of the world at SCAD commencement, and now I'm a superhero you know, or a villain. It just depends on who you talk to. Now, Dion Owens' is superpower he can control time. And while controlling time would certainly end up more of a curse than a blessing, you know, removing all the spontaneity and surprises that make up our lives, imagine for a second yourself in your first ever course at SCAD. That's right, go back to those first days. Think of your excitement, maybe even your anxiety. Mine was 3D design, so it was, it was mostly anxiety. Now, you were about to start an adventure and you weren't necessarily certain of how it would go. Now, fast forward through the years to where you are now. Yeah, your road forward is wide open. And sometimes that amount of freedom and uncertainty can be intimidating. It's almost like you're back at that first day again. But on behalf of every SCAD alumni, Walking down this new road is just as fulfilling. And now you have a newfound network of friends and supporters to help you light the way. Let's take a look. Let's go. Move. Woo. After I graduate, I'll be working as a design management coordinator for HBO Max. Walt Disney Imagineer. Swarovski. Video producer for Deloitte. Abercrombie and Fitch. Gensler. Black and Decker. Fjord. At Buck. Google. Google. Netflix. IBM. Pixar Animation Studio. Sony. Point industrial designer for Hexmuck. Because of SCAD, I got my dream job at Epic Games. <laughs> Thank you, SCAD, for giving me the best years of my life. Thank you, SCAD. Gracias a mis papás por esta oportunidad. Thank you, SCAD. We did it! Mm. You see how popular you all are? <laughs> now, while I've never spoken at a SCAD commencement before, I'm no stranger to its many wonders. I sang in them as a student and a member of the performance ensemble. And since I've graduated, I've been back every year to conduct our alma mater, Unique United. When I was a senior, I had a small idea to rearrange the music to President Wallace's soulful lyrics. And to my surprise, and I wasn't surprised, it caught on. And from that year forward, my arrangement became official. And this year, oh, <laughs> yep, you bet, I'm still conducting. <laughs> Please join me and the SCAD Performance Ensemble in welcoming to the screen SCAD president and founder Paula Wallace by singing and dancing along to our alma mater, Unique United. DJ, hit it. Excellent witches drawn from the muses and its continents. Unique, united, masterpiece and more.
On behalf of the SCAD Board of Trustees and the global SCAD community in Atlanta, Savannah, and from 100 plus nations of the world, it's my great honor to welcome you to the commencement ceremonies of the SCAD class of 2021. SCAD is one university and this wondrous moment fills my heart with so much joy and hope for the future. Hope has carried us to this moment, hope and hard work and faith in one another and our shared purpose to make the world more beautiful, more meaningful and more equitable for all. Einstein once said, there are only two ways to live. One is as though nothing is a miracle. The other is as though everything is. From where I stand, you, the graduates of the SCAD class of 2021, are the miracles of this year. Today you hold formidable power, wisdom, insights, highly specialized knowledge that you didn't possess when you first arrived at SCAD. More than 650 companies recruited you this year. You're going to work for Bank of America, DreamWorks, Disney, IBM, Mercedes-Benz, State Farm, Under Armour, Warner Brothers, and hundreds more. While others among you are so passionate about what you've learned at SCAD that you want to learn even more and have been accepted to the world's most prestigious grad programs right here at SCAD. You know, when I was in my 20s, nearly the same age as many of you, I started reading, studying, researching, and inventing, and eventually I invented SCAT. I studied some of the greatest thinkers in human history, Skinner, Piaget, and my favorite, Abraham Maslow. Maslow conceived of a hierarchy of needs inside each of us. Only when we meet the most basic necessities, food, shelter, safety, can we ascend to higher stages. Uppermost in Maslow's pyramid is the stage of self-actualization, when each of us becomes who we were born to be. Self-actualization takes many forms for the SCAD class of 2021. Oscars and Emmys and Pulitzers and IPOs are in your future, and promotions and patents for inventions, seeds that were planted right here at SCAD in your classes. Graduates, you've chosen a life of invention, and that means a life of building better tomorrows. If there's one universal quality among all SCAD bees, it's that each of you want to change the world. This desire to share your gifts and passions with others to improve their lives elevates you beyond self-actualization to a mostly unknown sixth stage that Maslow added many years after his original theory was published. It's the stage of self-transcendence. When you use your gifts to make the world better and fairer for all, SCAD bees are living lives of self-transcendence every day. This is what we do at SCAD and why most of you will find opportunities to do it in your careers, to marry research and invention, to creativity and hope. You don't have all the answers yet, but you do have everything you need right now today to climb to the stars and shine a light for others. Congratulations, SCAD graduates. I love you and I'm so proud of you. SCAD has been one of the most evolutionary and affirming forces in my life as an artist. I've always known that I wanted to study fashion design. For me, it was like second language, but SCAD taught me fluency. I love it. I've never enjoyed school so much, and especially coming from an engineering background. I really, really appreciate it, the freedom and the creativity that I get to use. My time at SCAD can be described as a roller coaster of events that I wish would never end. Honestly, the workshops, alumni presentations, the collaborative opportunities, being president of the LGBTQ community, it's all just an incredible experience. The SCAD Pro opportunities prepared me to intern with IBM, and that opportunity then led to interning for Facebook. And ultimately, I will be returning to Facebook in New York to work as a product designer. 
I'd like to give a shout out to some of my professors, Thomas Burns and Rick Lovell, who really helped push and develop my style as an illustrator. Professor Christina Maloney with the Motion Media Department. Because of her, I won a Red Dot Award, which is a really prestigious award, so thank you. I am now working as a visual designer with a tech startup jointly in Austin, Texas. After graduation, I want to work from home and run my own graphic design and photography studio. That's always been a dream of mine. SCAD really inspired that in me. I designed a 2300 square foot studio space and it's been a long process. My dad and I have been building it by hand and it just feels great. We'll be a part of two legacies. My grandmother, the only one to go to college in Korea, and then her daughter, my aunt, was valedictorian of her class. And so to graduate as salutatorian here, as the first member of my family to attend a college in the US, it's just an incredible honor. I was able to join the SCAT cycling team. Real story, one of the girls on the team was wearing a Viking shirt to a practice one day and I asked her about it. And it just so happened that they're looking for someone who had my background. So without SCAD, without SCAD Cycling, I wouldn't be working as a designer at Viking Yacht. Thank you, SCAD Cycling. You come for something that you want to improve on and you want to make a career, and you leave with so much more than that. I have two young kids, and one thing coming into SCAD that I really wanted to show them is how persistence and following your passion is something that you can do at any age. Congratulations, everybody. I'm happy for all of you and really excited to see where we all end up. Congratulations, we did it. Now it's time to step out and continue to illuminate the world. Exemplified by your outstanding graduates, the class of 2021 has achieved much and should stand proud. Alongside you, also receiving degrees today, are two distinguished honorees. That's Darren Walker and Xerxes Irani. Darren Walker is president of the Ford Foundation, an institution that's led international social justice philanthropy for 85 years. He is a member of the Council on Foreign Relations and on the board of several fine art and cultural institutions, including Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts, the National Gallery of Art, and Carnegie Hall. Xerxes Irani is the principal creative director leading the Amazon design community and previously the creative director for Bill Gates' media licensing company, Corbis. In his home country of Canada, he has had seven stamps printed and one coin minted for Canada Post. He is revered as an idea man, someone who obsesses over craft and as a designer who connects the head with the heart. Between Darren and Xerxes, you will hear a poem performed and written specially for the class of 2021 by Double Scat alumnus, winner of multiple national and international poetry slams, a musician, and current poet laureate for the state of Oregon, Anise Moshkani. Please welcome to the screen now, Darren Walker. Hello everyone, I'm Darren Walker, president of the Ford Foundation. Thank you so very much for this great honor. And to the class of 2021, congratulations. Now as students, you've earned your degrees through uncertainty and upheaval. But as artists and designers, you inspired your classmates, you energized your community, and you continued, yes, you continued to create. Now. You may be wondering what comes next. I wish I could tell you, but I can't. But I can share my perspective about why your work matters. Your work matters, especially now. For my part, the arts have influenced my life in deeply profound ways. I grew up in rural East Texas. We didn't have a lot, but my grandmother worked as a maid for wealthy families and she would bring me their old art magazines and programs. And I was transported into worlds I never could have envisioned. 
The civil rights icon, Marion Wright Edelman, often says, you can't be what you can't see. Well, those magazines helped me to see. They invited me to imagine who I might become. And the arts invite all of us to imagine a better, fairer, more just world. The arts can force us to grapple with uncomfortable truths as Amy Sherrill's beautiful regal portrait of Breonna Taylor does, casting Ms. Taylor in a flowing teal gown with a hand on her hip, brave, bold, loving, and loved, a full human being whose life was stolen too soon. And the arts can challenge us to build a better future, like how Amanda Gordon reminded us from the steps of the U.S. Capitol. What just is, isn't always justice, she said. In other words, who we are and who we can be collectively is bound only by the limits of what we can see. And as creative people, you have the power to advance justice by expanding our understanding of what's possible. So please show us stories that upend convention and prioritize inclusion. Show us interior designs that treat our planet with care and are accessible to all. Show us fashion that questions binaries and beauty standards. Please show us illustrations and animations that inspire us to dream and above all, to build a better world. So SCAD class of 2021, I can't tell you what comes next because it is up to you to decide. It's up to all of us to see and imagine what a world with more justice looks like. I wish you joy and meaning and good fortune and that your journeys in the future will be great. I look forward to all the great things you are going to do Congratulations to the class of 2021. Good morning, everyone. My name is Anise Mojgani. I am the current Poet Laureate of Oregon. And as a SCAD graduate myself, it is both an honor and a joy to get to on this graduation day of yours, pass some words to you from my home here in Portland, where I am recording these words into this electronic box and thinking fondly on Savannah, sweet city of my youth, where I lived seven beautiful springs and learn there a little how to make my heart a little more whole by having it remain a little unfinished and as such a little more open. Know that that which is in my heart today will still be in my heart whenever it is that you might hear this. And that that which is in my heart is to offer up to you its shape, which as I said before is a little unfinished and seeks to remain a little more open and an invitation to you to hold yours the same as you gather yourself in this moment, which I too found myself in some 20 some years ago, being touched by the breeze of open possibility, my ankles kissed by the current of a boundless river carrying me to the open waters of an ocean and a horizon of light. Be open, be a horizon of light. Notice all that you can. Recognize that which in this world seeks to make your heart more whole, then seek to make your heart more whole. Fall in love with something with no lungs, the bicycle, a shade of orange made by the sun kissing a thing translucent, rivers cracking open in springtime, the taste of salt on honey. Be aware of these things that make your heart more whole. These things that might fill your emptiness and take them and share them with others that they too might become as boundless as you are in this moment right now, all of us boundless and free in that river leading to that ocean. Let us be shoreless. Let us continue as the seasons do, boundlessly, openly. Enjoy the Georgia springtime today or whatever springtime you are in when you hear this and all your springs to follow. Hello and thanks for having me. My name is Xerxes Arani and I'm Principal Creative Director for the Amazon Design Community. This means I get to help the almost 4,000 creatives that work at Amazon globally do the best work that they can on behalf of our customers. You also might be wondering where my name came from. Xerxes, he was a Persian king. And if you saw the movie 300, 
He was the tall, gold, hairless man who fought the Greeks. Now, while I wasn't there, I'm pretty sure this was a sham. Because we all know there's no such thing as a hairless Persian. Okay, back to why I'm here with you today. I feel very honored to be recognized by SCAD this way. This is something that means a ton to me, especially at this point in my career. The truth of the matter is that SCAD has changed me. My effect on SCAD has been just as great as SCAD's effect on me. I'll explain this in a bit. Design is my life. It has always been my life, and I make because I have to make. I don't choose to make. Just like I don't choose to give back, mentor, or help, it's in me, and honestly, I just have to get it out. Because of this, I've spent years obsessing about where ideas come from, trying to understand why some folks have lots of original ideas, while others just keep waiting for one to drop. And I found a super interesting talk by Elizabeth Gilbert, the woman that wrote Eat, Pray, Love, about genius and where the concept of genius comes from. So back in Greek and Roman times, there was no pressure on the artist or the maker. They would wait for the genie to arrive, pop out of the wall, and spark the idea for the human to make. Modern day is very different. The pressure to create has fallen directly onto our shoulders, the creative individual. We were put in beige rooms and asked to be creative and make beautiful things, and we do. This makes me very proud. So know that I'm proud of you all and how far you have come to get here today. And you should be proud of yourselves as well. Okay. What I really discovered on this quest was that the thing that leads us all to more ideas and even better ideas is diversity. Now, I know this word is used a lot lately, but it's the simple truth. Diverse backgrounds lead to diverse experiences. Diverse experiences lead to diverse brains, and diverse brains sprout original ideas. So if we think about it, the crazier your path to getting here, the bumpier the road you may have traveled, will actually guarantee your thoughts and ideas to be different. It might be that you have dyslexia, or are Black, or are LGBTQ+, or are a Canadian who is Persian, with an Indian parent, and a Ukrainian wife, living on an island, in America, wearing a black sweater. It is this wonderful mix that is the key. I like to imagine rooms full of this wonderful mix. And when I imagine them, I imagine SCAD. We've been through a tremendous amount of change in your last two years. The fact that I'm sitting here instead of being with you is kind of a bummer. But I think it's forced us to get really, really crisp on what we want to do with our lives and who we actually want to do it with. This, along with everything that happened last summer, has led us to this moment. A moment for you to truly choose what's next. Where you want to put your energy, and who you want to do it with. It's a wonderful time for a fresh start. Do everything you can to capture it and harness the power of this freedom. Moments like these have led me to this past week where I made a major career direction change and it came out of a very clear point in time. It was February 3rd at 1.47 p.m. We have it captured on Zoom video. I was with the SCAD Pro Equitable Design Studio students. The idea is to have the top tech companies partner with SCAD to create accreditation modules for the first Equitable Design Pledge and to make this training free to all and mandatory to apply and work at these companies. The reality is I don't think this is an intentional gap in our incredible community. I think it's a lack of tools and understanding. And that is something I know we can fix, and I will spend the next part of my career helping to see the light of day. So in this moment, your moment, remember two things. Now is not forever. Things will change. There is no question about that. So count on it. And because of this, you're allowed to change your mind. 
Very few things are written in stone. At Amazon, we call these two-way doors. Think long and hard before going through a door that you can't turn around and walk back out of. But in reality, most doors aren't that way. They're mostly two-way doors. And if it wasn't the right decision, pivot, change your mind, and simply say, I'm out. So with that, I can't thank SCAD enough for changing me, and I hope to hear about your moments of change in the coming years. So now, go out and find what drives you, your passion, your love, and follow it to the end of the earth. You are the generation that has the power to actually fix up this crazy place. And I can't wait to help you do it. Peace and love. Thanks for having me and be well. Before I confer degrees on the SCAD class of 2021, I want to say something that I hope you will always remember. Today, as your professional lives officially begin, know that you will never walk alone. You carry SCAD and SCAD carries you. SCAD offers you an array of resources that you can use throughout your careers. If you need an introduction to a company where you want to work, ask us. One of the 50,000 other SCAD alumni either work there or know people who do. Facebook, Apple, Pixar, these are there. The CDC and the CIA, these are there. We're everywhere. We know people and they know us. Come back to SCAD as often as you can. SCAD is in high school. It's not weird if you come back. <laughs> the next big move in your career can happen here where it all began. Okay, here comes the big moment. This is it. Graduates, wherever you are, it's time to stand up. As president of SCAD on behalf of the Board of Trustees, it is my pleasure to confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Master of Arts, Master of Fine Arts, Master of Urban Design, and Master of Architecture. <laughs> Congratulations, graduates. And if you're wearing a mortarboard, Turn that tassel. We love you, bees. Congratulations. Congratulations, SCAD class of 2021. You did it. <laughs> Enjoy your school graduation ceremonies today or tomorrow, and come right back to this site if you're participating digitally. Now, to dance us out, put your hands together for the honeybees. What a beautiful day for graduation. Blue skies ahead, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. This is gonna be fun. Colin, do you copy? Loud and clear. They're here. Heading to the stage, over and out. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> I was born ready. The coast is clear. Let's do this. Hey guys, I'm in the Lucas and it's about to go down. May you have auspiciousness and causes of success. May you have the confidence to always do your best. May you take no effort and you being generous. Share what you can, nothing more, nothing less. May you know the meaning of the word happiness. May you always lead from the beating in your chest. May you be treated like an esteemed guest. May you get to rest, may you catch your breath. And may the best of your days be the worst of your tomorrow. Whoa. I've never seen it, but I found this love, I'm gonna feed it. You better believe I'm gonna treat it better than anything I've ever had. Cause you are beautiful, ain't it? It's signed and delivered, let's seal it. Cause we go together like peanuts and paydays, Marley and reggae, and everybody needs to get a chance to say,
sign Swear you hit me like a vision I, I, I wasn't expecting But who am I to tell fate where it's supposed to go? Go, 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 raise your glasses Go, 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 you can have it all I toast you all, oh, this is how it